This is a recording test. I'm going to take off the effects so you can hear more of my speaking voice. as I would like. So anyway, I've got this mixer. Thanks to my sister, I got it for my birthday. Like it close to about $50. Of course, with the shipping and everything. Well, you can see all the knobs. We can adjust the focus here. By the way, this webcam has a manual focus, but you kind of have to adjust like what I'm doing right now, see? Now I can see it very clear. Now, here, you can see this is the XLR input right there into there. That's what's powering the phantom power, which is this. When I press this, I guess the excess sound is isolated. So, this is the volume, this is the uh, decibel range. Or actually, this is the game, as it says right there. You can notice how my voice, if you listen, how my voice is sounding like this. There you go. That's the game. So the game levels up. And then I adjust the high. This is the high. Okay, there you go. And I should say that this webcam actually has its own microphone. You may hear it, or you may not. And this is the low, 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 low. High, 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 low, low, low. Okay, and then you have the main volume, which is independent of this uh, first, because this is a four channel mixer. So the volume is all the way up, as you can tell by my voice. Now I put it in the middle range, and it sounds like this. Now it's low, you can't hear. Now you can, now you can, now you can. Next, this is the second port for the second mic line to go in there. But since I don't have the second microphone and a second XLR cable, it's practically useless until you get a second, until I decide to get a second microphone set up with an XLR connection. And then we have the 3 4 USB. In other words, this is for your secondary audio. For example, you can hook up your s smartphone like through phone jack, as you can see right there. So when you hear that, this is what you hear. So the damaged door is perfect, and the perfect door is damaged. Right there. Okay, so you can actually adjust the volume on that. There is no replacement, and we cannot weld and By the way, I should mention the red light actually goes on whenever you increase the volume or when it's at a high level. Just little heads up there. And then you've got the main, I guess that's for everything. Plus, you notice that there's a dial for phone because you can actually... This is for like, I guess, for headphones, but you may also be able to dial into a live call. You talk to somebody live, and then you can also record it. Because I use Audacity, which is a free. Because I use Audacity, which is actually a free software. D A W software. It's Digital Audio Workstation. That's what the acronym is. And I'm actually recording on my uh, podcast episode, and I'm actually editing the audio, as you can see. So. Out of that, back to the cam. See, I notice that there's actually a source input. It has Bluetooth, and by the way, you can actually hook a Bluetooth device, let's say a smartphone, a tablet, what have you. Bluetooth enable, you have it on that setting. You can play directly off of your Bluetooth enabled device. So you got PC, you got the line source, and you got the USB source for it. Say if you got a USB jump drive you can plug it right in there and play what's on there plus there is the I guess the uh, reverse and the forward and then there's the play option play pause option as you can see so looking at these other uh, ports you can see this is for output for output sources for example if you can have external speakers so you'll put those plugs right into the left and to the right channel even if it's say if you were a DJ or you were doing some kind of MC type function where you provide let's say the speakers and all that for like functions and events that's what these are for 
and these are some other uh, sources. So when you decide to step up your uh, recording game, that's what these are for. Or when you, let's say, if you participate in some kind of event, like you do this for a living, hopefully I can do some DJ type business on the slide or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to show you the box that this came in. Hang on. So, it came in this box right here. It's the Bass Multifunction Mixer Professional Audio 4-Channel DJ Mini Mixing Console. Now, there is a 6-channel Mini Mixing Console, but it's probably about a little more off of Amazon, but you'll have at least six channels to work with, and this is only four. This is only four. So you look at the back, see? You can look at what the functions are. Microphone, PC, phone, speaker, USB, and you've got 48 volt fandom power, which is what I'm recording the audio off of. That's why you can have the voice. And speaking of the voice, we're gonna do some interesting effects. Notice the dials right here. Well, there's this effects key. So when I press this button, you've got delay, repeat, and that's what you, so when you adjust the delay, that's on the left side. So it's on the left, check, one, two, three, as I'm adjusting the dial to the right. And that's why you got the slow delay. Yep. Okay, put that right back in the center. And then you have the repeat. There you go. Repeat, left. Repeat left, repeat middle, repeat right. Now you can come and you can combine the both of these, and your voice just sounds like this. And then go left, right, left, right, left, right. And then you have the main. You can actually adjust the high volume on that. And then you've got combination of these and that. See? Yeah. Well, this is the mixing, mini mixing four channel console in a nutshell. Here I am. Check, 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 check. I think that's about it. I'm killed with it for the 9 to 5 Outlaw does tech.